Good afternoon, you string beans. How are you guys doing today? Oh wait, you can't answer that because this is a video, my bad. <laughs> Hello my goobies, welcome to the video today. I am here with Celery the Celebi, the cutest new addition to our crew. He's adorable. I would probably not recommend purchasing him though because he's the same price as all those giant Pokemon back there, but he's tiny and it makes no sense. I don't know why he was the same price, but I thought he was really cute. Me and Taco just had to have him, so Celery the Celebi is with us now. Welcome home! <laughs> okay, the Goobies, today we're going to be opening some blister packs. I had no clue that's what these things were called until Taco told me that's what these were called. So we're doing blister packs today. I said this on stream and someone was like, Blister? You mean a booster? And I was like, no, it's actually called blister. Like, that's actually what I meant. That's what it's called. <laughs> We're gonna be opening, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs today. So it's not gonna be a super long video. We got nine of these bad boys. They come with promotional cards, which are really cool. We had to get these ones because they're the Pikachu Eevee cuties. Taco actually got these for me because he knew that I would love them more than anything and they're absolutely adorable designs. So those are my faves. But yeah, we're gonna be opening these blister packs today. We're gonna see how the pull rate is within them. I'm so excited. I've only heard good things about blister packs. One thing I will say about this is Taco picked these up from Target and he wanted me to tell you guys to make sure to look in the Target checkout lines because they'll have them sometimes back there outside of the Pokemon card section and they'll be hidden in the back. And that's where he actually found all these Ultra Prisms. Since Ultra Prism is out of print, it's harder to find and like you just, we couldn't find Ultra Prism anywhere. And then we looked in the back um, of the checkout lines at Target and we found a bunch of them. So make sure you're checking your checkout lines at Target to find some of those more rare uh, packs back there. And with that, my goobies, with that little hot tip of the day, let's uh, let's get into this video without further ado and check out what we pull from these packs. Celery the Celebi should be our lucky charm today. Ah, He's gonna be our little lucky charm today, so let's get into the video! Um, just quick disclaimer, I just took like 87 years opening all those packs. There is way too crazy amount of packaging that goes into Pokemon stuff, I swear. That took way too long. I was trying not to bend the cards, getting all the coins out. It was horrible. Pokemon, just stop. Get help. Get better packaging. <laughs> okay, goopies. So here are all the packs laid out for you guys. Um, we have two Unbroken Bonds, four Ultra Prism, and three Forbidden Light. Yeah, that's what these are. Yeah, okay. And then the promo cards, we have Rockruff, Curlia, if that's how you say that, a Sandshrew, a Low and Sandshrew, a Pikachu, and Eevee. So here are all of the packs and their coins for you guys to see. We got some cool coins as well. I have so many coins. I should just do a giveaway of just straight up coins because I have so many. And then we buy multiple packs like this and we just get extras, you know? It's like now we got three of these bad boys. What are we gonna do with all these coins? I don't know. We'll be doing some close-ups of all of these promo cards for you guys as well. Just wanted you to see how every pack comes um, with the coins and stuff. So let's get into this opening, yay! All right, you guys, we're gonna start with some Forbidden Light. We have three of these packs. So hype a diddly do da day. Let's see what we can get from this pack. Psychic Energy, a Tyrant, an Aslif, a Judge, a Froki, an Esper, oh my gosh, the Esper is so cute. A Honedge, a no Noibat, a Gible, a Reverse Hollow, Lysander Labs, and <gasps> Ooh, a Hollow Infernape. That is a white card for us, my goobies. That Hollow Infernape, wow, that is so pretty. Look at that baby shine. I don't think I've seen the Hollow version of this card. I don't even know if I've seen this card. Honestly, I haven't opened a lot of uh, Forbidden Light packs, so that's pretty freaking hype. The only thing I will say about this is like, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but the card is a little bit, it's not like fully straight. It's a little bit warped. I, I just feel like these cards are a little bit warped because of how difficult the pack is to open. 
I don't know, it's it's like the worst packaging because there's so much packaging and it wastes so much plastic, but at the same time, like, it's not even protecting the cards. So, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of the packaging of these blister packs, but that's awesome. That is a white card right there. Uh, that is a holographic Infernape. I'm super happy with that. I'm super happy with that. Let's go to the next Forbidden Light, see what we can get here. Make sure our stream deck is all ready just in case we get some spicy pulls. Also, I just want to mention that each blister pack also comes with an extra code card, which gives you the coin and the promo card inside of the online TCG. So that's pretty hype a do da day So definitely keep that in mind if you are gonna buy some of these packs. Okay, we have Electric Energy, Fossil Ex Excavation Map, Ultra Recon Squad, Azlef, Cubone, Scatterbug, Snover, Skrelp, a ben Benelope? I don't know how to say that dude's name. Benelope! Uh, a Reverse Hollow, Tyrant, and boo! And a Low and Marowak non holographic. I love Low and Marowak just as a Pokemon. I think he's a super cool design. I love him so much, little tiki boy. My little tiki boy, so cute. Another electric energy, unit energy, a breaks in, uh, I think that's how you say that. Fossil excavation map, I just realized I haven't opened these cards in so long. A dewpider, a goomy, a scatterbug, a bergmite. I don't even know what this is. I've never even seen this Pokemon once in my life. Um, what is this? He's an ice cube? Is he an ice cube? He's a cute little ice cube. I don't know what that guy is. A Pantium, Reverse Hollow Rock Ruff, and last but not least, boom! A Flor Florges? No clue what this even is as well. Flo Floet. It evolves from Floet. It's a Florges. Yeah, I've never seen this card before. <laughs> never seen this Pokemon before. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I've never seen that Pokemon before. That's why it's so cool, and I feel like it might be cool for you guys too, or really lame for you guys, I don't really know, that I've just, you know, I'm so new to Pokemon. I just got into Pokemon earlier this year. So there's still Pokemon out there that I have never seen in my entire life, and this is one of them. Uh, looks like some sort of flower mermaid. I don't know. I don't really know. But yeah, that, that's the card. That's our last pack for Forbidden Light. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. We did get one white card for Forbidden Light, and that was that holographic Infernape. I would have liked it to be, you know, a GX card or something like that. But honestly, it's better than no hollows. So I'm hype about that. Let's get into Ultra Prism next. Um, I'm just going to say if we pull... Oh, gosh! Dude! All these cards just fell out. All these cards just fell out onto, onto the floor. Oh my god, that pack was open on the bottom. And they all just spilled out. How? How is that possible? What? Uh, well, it's a green card, so there's that. <laughs> Let me pick these up real quick, you guys. Holy smokes, that's insane. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, what the heck? It was a green card, but there's a freaking, what? There's a Dongling Zucrozma that just fell on the floor. Wait, but that was a green card. Wait, I'm so confused. Look at this. What the heck is this? I just saw this on the floor. <laughs> I just dropped it on the floor. Oh my God, you guys. What the heck was that turn of events? Okay, let me pick these up off the floor. This is bananas. Um, okay. That's just, I don't even know what to say. Dawn Wings to in it, even though it was a green card, no idea. We also have a Reverse Hollow Lickitung, which is like my favorite freaking card. Not really a ton of other cool stuff in there, just the usual, so guess that's that pack. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, GX Celebration? Yay? The freaking Dawn Wings to Crowsman, that's sick. That is such a sick pull. We got a GX pull from a green card and all of the cards fell on the floor somehow. I don't even know how that was possible. The pack was just perfectly open somehow. Like, I have no clue. It's, it's almost like it didn't get crimped or something. That's kind of bananas though. The pack was just perfectly open and they all just slid out right when I picked them up and there was bada bing bada boo, dong wings to crows just popped out. Let's make sure this one's all sealed up. Yep, that one's 
that one's all good. So let's open this bad boy and see what we can pull. <laughs> we, we open Ultra Prism Packs simply because we want to pull that Full Art Cynthia. That is like our dream in life is the Full Art Cynthia. So one of these days, one of these days, we're going to pull that Full Art Cynthia, I swear. Uh, all right, pierogies, Alone Volpix, Bronzer, Dewpiter, a Piplup, a Scotty, a Reverse Hollow Turtwig, and boom, a Garchomp non-holographic. Steel Energy, Cosmolum, Bronzong, Fire Memory, Dewpiter, a Gearball, a Scarubi, a Lickitung, a Chimchar, a Reverse Hollow Carnivine, and an Araquanid non-holographic Spidey Boy. Hype -a -diddle -a -doo. All right, this is our last Ultra Prism pack. We've gotten two green cards on those last packs, but one of those, technically three green cards, but somehow one was a GX, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. So let's see if we can end on a high note with a white card. Let's see what happens. Electric Energy, Yan Mega, Pierogies, a Skun Tank, Turtwig, Electabuzz, a Baneri, a Morlo, a Magmar, a Reverse Hollow Cynthia, what? And a Holographic Luxray. Super hype. We did end on a beautiful white card. That is a nice holographic card. I'm actually a fan of this one. It's not that bad. It's quite pretty. I love it. So cute. And then last but not least, we're opening two Unbroken Bonds packs. We're gonna hope for that Rainbow Rare Charizard one. Dude, that would be insane if we just pulled a Rainbow Rare Charizard from a blister pack. Oh my God, dude. That would be crazy. I feel like it's always how it goes though. The people that are pulling Rainbow Rare Charizards are pulling them from like random, random, random places. And you're just like, what is going on, man? And it's always like people that know nothing about, it's always like the one person that buys just one pack and they're like, oh, I'm just getting into TCG and I'm just, you know, I'll just buy a pack. And it's like, oh, Rainbow Rare Charizard, no worries. <laughs> or it's like little kids. Oh my gosh. I met this like, I think it was like a 10 year old little kid that had pulled a rainbow Charizard and I was just like, are you freaking kidding me? Didn't sleeve it, it was so beat up and it's just like, wow, it's always the people that, that like that's what happens. It's always the people that you don't expect get that rainbow red Charizard. So I'm just salt, I'm so salt. <laughs> okay, Unbroken Bonds. Um, we're starting with an electric energy. Fairy Charm Ability, Chip Chip Ice Axe, Tyrug, Darumaka, Sandile, Salandit, a Coughing, a Diglett, a Reverse Hollow, Firo, and last but not least, burr, 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 a Victory Bell, um, non holographic. So, not that hype, not that hype. Honestly, on Broken Bonds, I don't usually have the best of luck with. We rarely pull white guards for Unbroken Bonds just because I just feel like it's so unlikely to. It's such a bad pull rate for Unbroken Bonds. It's so unlikely. Eh. Alright guys, we have a Metal Energy, a Tokitik, a Fairy Charm, a Crocorok, a cute little Clefairy, a Seal, a Gligar, a Mistrevious, a Glam Meow, a Reverse Hollow Dust Stone, and a Hypno Non-Holographic. Nah, nah. Me, 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 me. So sad. So those are our pulls for all those packs. Nine packs. Uh, we got a Holographic Infernape. We have an, a Dawn Wings to Krozma GX. Um, I pulled out the Reverse Holo Lickitung just because I think he's really cute and I love him. We got a Holo Luxray, Reverse Holo Cynthia, and a Dawn Wings Necrozma somehow out of a green card pack, which makes absolutely zero sense. But And then nothing from the Unbroken Bonds packs. So they're are our blister packs for you guys. Um, not the best, not the worst, I'll say. Wasn't anything crazy. I'll make sure to do some close-ups for you guys, so stay tuned, goobies.
Alright Bengalis, thank you so much for watching this video. Me and Celery are gonna go kick it for the rest of the day. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for all the subs, all the support, all of the follows, all the likes, all the retweets, all of the Instagram follows. You guys are amazing. If you want to join our community and hang out with us, we stream live on Twitch. We have an Instagram, Twitter, and a Discord channel as well. You guys are more than welcome to come chill with the boot crew. Thank you guys so much for everything. I appreciate you. If you do end up buying some blister packs, please tweet me pictures of what you end up pulling. I would love to see them. I love seeing you guys' pulls. It makes me so, so happy. And uh, yeah, I will catch you goobies later. Ha 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 ha!